Busy, 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 busy. New idol insanity. I'm Sean Robinson with the boys on the voting scandal. And Adam takes aim at Clay Aiken's unkind words. Bodily contact always preferred. His idol fans flock to the Today Show Plaza for their Chris Adam wake-up call. It's a bit early, a bit early, but it was really fun. And on the heels of last week's finale comes new idol controversy as AT&T confirmed that employees assisted in power texting tutorials in Chris's home state of Arkansas, but they believe it did not impact the results. We're not worried about it, yeah. you know, and, uh, and, and American Idol knows what they're doing. A couple of, of employees of AT&T handed out a couple phones and showed people how to use them. I, I don't think that, that <laughs> that's a conspiracy of any kind. Either way, both Adam and Chris are dominating the Billboard Hot 100 with nine debuts on the charts. Even Adam is shooting down rumors he's joining Queen. Yeah, I mean, that would be awesome to sing with Queen. Um, right now, my focus is my own album. We know one person who won't be buying Lambert's LP, fellow Idol runner-up Clay Aiken, who bashed Adam's voice last week on his blog, quote, thought my ears would bleed, contrived, awful, and slightly frightening. Clay has since apologized. I, I don't know Clay, no. I'm glad he's getting headlines now, though, because he wasn't before. <laughs> so if he wants to ride my coattails about it, good for him. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was really well said. All right, now behave, boys. But right now, it is time for... 